With about a quarter of South Africans unemployed and the majority of those being aged between 15 and 29, South Africa needs drastic solutions to creating jobs. According to the government's National Development Plan, or NDP, a key driver could be small, medium and micro enterprises, otherwise known as SMMEs. But a recent report shows that an enabling environment has not been created for small businesses to thrive. These businesses continue to battle tough legislation and regulation, which is hindering their opportunity for growth. Chris Darrell is chief executive of Small Business Project. Through a panel of 200 established small and medium-sized firms, each employing less than 50 people, the company compiled a study of South Africa's small business environment. According to the index, 71% of respondents felt it became harder to operate a business last year. 20% felt it hadn't changed from the previous year, whereas 9% believed it had improved. The report notes that even though this was a slight improvement from 2012, operating a business is still extremely difficult. 60% believed red tape has increased. 39% reported it remained constant, while only 1% thought there was an improvement. Only 34% of the companies surveyed employed more people. 48% kept their workforce constant, while 18% reduced their employee numbers. The business environment for small business, in particular business per se, but small business in particular is hostile. That's what our report is telling us. But a lot of the issues that they're referring to in terms of a hostile environment are those that relate more to our domestic environment rather than the international or financial um, you know, uh, process globally. Small businesses are struggling with the administrative demands imposed by the country's labour legislation, making it a disincentive to take on new staff. So says renowned entrepreneur and chairman of the Free Market Foundation, Herman Mashaba. As soon as uh, you start a business in this country, as soon as you employ five, ten people, then you are going to have this bargaining councils knocking at your door, expecting you uh, to comply to, uh, to conditions of employment that you, had, you have got absolutely no knowledge about. For as long as we have this draconian piece of legislation in our statute book, we're not going to really see the emergence and the success of, of small businesses in this country. In attempt to improve the small business environment, government has established the Small Enterprise Finance Agency. With a mandate to foster the establishment, survival and growth of SMMEs, the fund has loaned out 440 million rand to entrepreneurs since its inception in April 2012. Government has eased the tax compliance burden for SMMEs and most recently has hinted at plans to establish a ministry dedicated to the small business sector. The thinking around that is that the National Development Plan says that uh, the development of small business is uh, the way we're going to create many, many jobs in this country. And uh, that small business needs uh, focused and uh, priority attention. Uh, some of the small business uh, support services are at the moment under the Department of Trade and Industry. Some of them are falling under like the uh, Small Enterprise Finance Agency under Economic Development. And there are many other programs under other different government departments and I think the idea is that we'd have a more concentrated, more focused attention on small business. Certain members of business have welcomed the ministry, saying it will provide much needed service and attention to SMMEs. The small business uh, ministry will, uh, to a very large extent, uh, play the following role. One, it will compile uh, a data of small businesses in each town and it will ascertain what support systems do they want, you know, do they need in terms of training, in terms of access to finance. And it will make sure that at NetLeg the, 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 the small businesses are represented and we are able to determine what laws applies to big business and what laws applies to small business. But not everyone agrees that expanding the already bulging public sector is the solution. We don't need to appoint more ministers. Currently the cabinet ministers are falling over one another trying to figure out who's responsible for what. We need to streamline this operation. At the same time, we need to have a business-friendly government. Make it easy for people to 
start businesses, to get business going. Don't make it difficult for them. Don't appoint more bureaucrats in the expectation that more bureaucrats will make it easier for people to do business. While most agree that SMMEs are the solution to South Africa's unemployment problem, there are opposing views on how to create an enabling environment. With only 16 years left to achieve the goals of the National Development Plan, whatever government decides to do should ensure that small business not only survive, but thrive.